Okay, so this may not be the Red Wings video that you thought we would be making here today because, yeah, the Red Wings had a game against Pittsburgh yesterday. It was on the road. And because preseason games on the road normally don't see the away team giving out their best lineup, it really is a shot in the dark when it comes to finding things to talk about out of these preseason games. But today I did not want to talk about that game at all. Instead, I wanted to go over a prospect that was signed to an amateur tryout for the Red Wings and their training camp, who has actually been showcasing off so well that this guy might just have earned himself, maybe, in some realm of a possibility, an entry-level contract. Let's go over a guy that was brought over onto training camp from the QMJHL, an overage defenseman who was undrafted and who's been turning heads of media and coaches. If you've been watching some of the interviews done with the Red Wings guys and maybe even seeing some of the prospect footage, you might have noticed this guy and you might have seen him stand out. Today we're talking about from the Charlottetown Islanders, Jeremy Biakabutuka. And yes, that is an amazing name. When this guy scores goals in the QMJHL and the French announcers are going out there commentating on the game, they let out a Jeremy Biakabutuka, and it's so hype. Like, honestly, go watch the footage of this guy and just listen to the commentators doing their thing. But Biakabutuka is indeed an invite onto the Red Wings training camp on an amateur tryout. So not even a pro tryout, but an amateur tryout. And when it comes to the comments made by some of the people at training camp, there is a lot of optimism going around this player, even though he isn't really technically Red Wings property. You might have noticed Bianca Batuka scoring the overtime goal for the 3-on-3 game that happened a while ago. It was Michael Rasmussen who fed Bianca Batuka the pass. This is what the Grindline podcast ended up saying on Twitter. For a last-minute invite due to injury, he has come up big more than once in the prospect tournament and now in training camp. He has the size and it seems like he has the skill to get it done too. It'll be interesting to see what happens with him. This is what Derek Lalonde said about Bianca Batuka. He keeps earning looks. And to me, he has really made an impression these two weeks. Before we go over some extended comments, I wanted to go over just the profile of this player first and foremost. Bianca Butuka is a 6'4", right-handed defenseman. He's 20 years old, born in March of 2002, and according to the Elite Prospects 2020 Draft Guide, he loves to join the rush, and it's something he could continue to do with the pros using his superior skating. He has clear defensive pride, consistently judging the best defensive angles. He's engaged, keeps his head turning, and is always in an athletic position. He has the wingspan necessary as well to make stops against professionals and be disruptive off the rush. You can also see that his uncle, Chimanga Biakabutuka, was a retired NFL player, and he also has a brother as well. Biakabutuka, though, even though he did have a pretty positive scouting report, was not really ranked to go anywhere in the draft by NHL scouting outlets. You can see that future considerations back in 2020 had him at 273, and he was the 209th best North American skater from NHL Central Scouting. To be fair, though, I mean, in the 2020 season, he didn't really produce all too many points, 18 points in 47 games played. And point production was never really his main bread and butter, as in his most recent season of play in Ramuski and Charlottetown, he had himself 26 total points in, what is that, 60 total games played? So not really the best point producer, but he was a guy that did impress very well to give himself an opportunity with the Red Wings. This is an article on Detroit Hockey, now published by Kevin Allen, talking about how the Red Wings are intrigued by this free agent defenseman. It goes over a few more comments made by some of the people that are important in this situation. Bianca Batuka, the nephew of former Michigan and NFL run back Tim Bianca Butaka, is one of the four amateur tryout players in the Detroit Red Wings training camp after the first roster trimming. The Red Wings cut nine players two days ago, which means that they got it down to 60. It doesn't mean the Red Wings are going to sign him, it only means that they want to look at him longer. He keeps on earning looks, Derek Lalonde said. Every time we have a practice, a game, or a skate, we reevaluate our roster for the next day. A lot of it will come from the staff. Some of it will come from Steve Eiserman and his management group, and they continually want to see him, Bianca Batuka, in situations. It's a credit to him, and it's something he has earned throughout camp. Then, there's a little bit of a scouting report here from Lalon. He is a high-compete level player. He can skate north-south, he's a driven kid, and he wants to be coached. He looks you in the eye. Little habits like that you appreciate it as a coach. He's made a good impression. A really good kid. We've liked having him around. 
Here's a little assessment as to what the Wings could look like with their decor situation. The Red Wings currently have 20 defensemen officially on their training camp roster. This article, by the way, from two days ago, so it might not be completely up to date. Although Jake Wallman and Mark Pissick are both out with long-term injuries. Robert Haig was also injured in the Red and White game. The Red Wings have signed prospects Donovan Sobrango, Jared McIsaac, Wyatt Newpower, Albert Johansson, and Emil Vero already projected to play in Grand Rapids, with veterans Brian Lashoff and Steve Kempner also headed for Grand Rapids. Simon Edvinson could either end up in Detroit or with the AHL squad too. Depending upon injuries in Edvinson, the Red Wings may have room for another defenseman with their AHL team, and if that's the case, then maybe... This player right here, Jeremy Biakabutaka, could be the guy suiting up in the team. Of course, he's 20 years old, meaning that his junior days are likely coming to an end soon, but it means that he is on the radar for NHL teams looking to go out there and maybe make a splash, like potentially the Red Wings. The rest of the article goes over a few quotes from Biakabutaka himself, going over how his family was a football family, but his father didn't like the contact aspect, so he played hockey instead. I'm a big defenseman with good mobility and speed, so obviously they want to see me play good defensively, see me finishing my check, and be physical, using my speed to join the rush. I have a good shot too, so I take shots on the net. I consider myself a two-way defenseman, so doing all that and not creating a turnover every shift is something that I want to do. I just want to be hard to play against and join the rush when I have the chance to. And honestly, you can't really get any better than that when it comes to a 20-year-old amateur tryout going out there and saying what it is that he wants to accomplish at Red Wings training camp. And when it comes to all the reactions online, I mean, you just gotta search this guy's name on Twitter and you can see this. This is what Beer League Chump went out there and said, I think I may officially be on Team ELC for Jeremy Biakabutaka. We also had a few other Red Wings fans in other comment sections saying that he looked pretty good and he actually did show off well and a lot of people kind of just want to see him make the team because it would be funny for the commentators. Yeah, I know. We love you, Mick, but it's going to be funny to see that one, eh? Biaka Butaka. Biaka Butaka. Say that one three times fast. But anyway, talk to the comments all your thoughts about this Red Wings amateur tryout contract. I'm pre-recording this video on Tuesday before the Red Wings and the Penguins game, honestly, so... I actually don't know what happened in that game, but based off the roster that we had seen heading into the game, I honestly am not too optimistic because, as I said, this is normally what happens with hockey teams when they suit up in preseason games. They send the bad squads over to away games because, hey, they just want to give the hometown crowd fans something to cheer about. It doesn't always work. Sometimes the home team ends up losing, but for the most part, I thought this was a more interesting story to talk about, and... If there is indeed like a cut or two, this guy gets cut from the team, knock on wood, he doesn't by the time this video gets uploaded. But either way, with the conversations going around on several parts of social media where Red Wings fans are saying that they honestly wouldn't be opposed to the idea of giving Biaka Butaka an ELC, I thought this was noteworthy to talk about, especially with the praise given from Derek Lalonde. But either way, if you're a Charlottetown Islanders fan, if you're a Ramuski Oceanic fan, if you've seen this guy play before and or have just seen him play now at Red Wings training and prospects camp, talk to the comments like your thoughts about Jeremy Biakabutaka and what you think the future holds for him, either in the AHL or in the NHL, and whether or not that's with Detroit or not. Talk to the comments like your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this Vitrage Rolls 99. And... Bye.